In the last lecture, we saw how agricultural extension saved Mukhtar's community. Today, we want to know what makes agricultural extension successful. While doing that, it's important that we explore some of the problems facing agricultural extension as well. The first principle guiding agricultural extension is that the extension education should be taken to the people. Extension education should take place inside the communities. That way, you can communicate better and gain the trust of the farmers, even if you are not a son of the soil like Muftar. It's also important that you work together and involve the farmers in creating a program to ensure maximum participation of the farmers. Work with them in developing programs. Their contributions should be accepted and considered. Extension programs must meet the needs of the participants. Mokhtar brought a solution to his community's pressing need for the dry season affecting their crops. Another very important principle is that the program must be flexible and undergo continuous evaluation. This is because new practices are being developed. You may also find that your training isn't relevant to the needs of that particular community. This is why you must ensure that your programs are constantly being evaluated and updated. Sometimes, an agricultural extension program is not successful and the goals aren't met. This is because of certain problems that may arise, such as lack of motivated extension agents like Mukhtar, inadequate agricultural inputs or late delivery, lack of transport facilities for extension staff, and poor communication facilities. Other problems that may arise are inadequate extension workers, poor monitoring of extension agents, poor training of the workers, and no motivation for the extension workers. I'm sure you enjoyed this class. Thank <laughs> you.